How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Pokey Taj Mail. It's been a while, I have to say, which is probably a good thing. It means I'm getting more disciplined about ordering stuff on, through the post. Anyway, here we go. Today's Pokey Taj Mail. Um, it's been about two, three weeks since I've done the last one. So let's crack on with the first purchase. This was an eBay purchase I made. And now, Prism Stars. We might have forgotten about these, but trust me, SM12A is definitely reminding me because... Um, I need to get quite a few to complete that set then um, literally they're going to be the only cards that I'm missing are Prism Star cards from SM12A to complete my full Japanese SM collection all the, I've got all the numbered cards from um, Japanese base set up to the last set which was SM12A and now we're going to go to Sword and Shield so that's just a few more cards I need and then I will be able to do some maybe videos showing you what I have got but this was a huge bundle of 22 prism stars I needed a few of these to complete my um prism star collection I don't know if you guys are aware I might show the folder at the end of this video I probably will actually I'll show you guys a folder once I put these in and show you the state of my prism star collection but wondrous labyrinth was a few copies of those I still need but yeah 22 cards there I was um, watching this and uh, managed to snap this up at a pretty good price so that was the first one. Talking about SM12A, um, the next one was a single card purchase, which I've left the top loader for some reason. Uh, let's get it out. Um, was a Lola Ninetales GX. Believe it or not, this was one of the few GXs from SM12A that I didn't manage to pull. Um, so I managed to get that as a single. And yes, just leaves a few Prism Stars now because I've ordered the rest of the singles I needed. Uh, next one is for my Mimikyu collection. Let's get this out the sleeve as well. So uh, this is a little buffer uh, pack card that was packed in. Very nice. I do like to see these older Japanese cards with the old Pokey Pocket Monster uh, back. But this is the card I ordered. It was a Mimikyu. Um, it was a card promo that you got when you bought some bread in Japan. But I needed this one because I love Mimikyu, as you guys know. Mimikyu Acer Roller. So yeah, um, that's going to go into my Mimikyu collection. So very pleased to obtain that. Let's uh, tighten this up a bit. I've just been tidying up the studio a bit and uh, dusting a bit. So it does um, get a bit uh, dusty with the black surface. But yes, just been doing that. So the stand isn't quite where I'd like it to be. Anyway, here we go. We've got another Guzma. Again, Guzma was a very, very playable card. Um, I'm stocking up on these because this is, look how clean this is. Um, the corners are very nice. Uh, a little bit of whitening just there, but this is a pretty clean card. Um, I wanted this just to add to my Guzma collection. I do like Guzma as well, he's one of my favorite characters. Talking about Acerola, boom, there's another uh, eBay purchase. And this time I, um, I needed a few more uh, Mimikyu character rare cards so I ordered um, three more of these Japanese Mimikyu and Acer Roller cards one will go in the Mimikyu collection one will go in the Acer Roller collection and just one spare which will go into the CHR collection because we've got one on display here uh, this one was from a UK seller this next one and it is Welder Full Arts now those who collect English cards will not know there is a second welder. This time it's the male version um, of welder. So yes, very nice looking card. And that, you can see the flames in the background of the texture, very nice. So that'll go into my full art trainer collection. Now there's another one I ordered. If you follow me on Twitter, you know the story of this one. I ordered Mina. Um, but this Mina came a little bit, let me get this out of the Steve so I can show you guys what happened to this Mina. This Mina came bent, see there, you can see it, yeah, you can see the crease there, and there you can see quite clearly at the back there, there is a crease. This card came bent, very, very, I was very, very upset when it came through. Um, I contacted the seller, took some pictures, sent it to the seller, I said, listen, you put this, you just wrapped it in cardboard, no top loader, and it's got bent, and especially the way the cardboard had its folds in it, it was quite easy to bend by accident by the postman, which is what obviously happened. The postman, as he's putting it through the door, um, bent the card, um, but the seller was very good, sent me a replacement, this time in a top loader, uh, and a bit more sturdy card surrounding the top loader. So this one is 
impeccable. So very glad to get Mina again for that full art trainer collection. And then there was one I was missing from SM12. So I got that as a single as well, um, which was Cynthia and Caitlin. So managed to grab that um, just to complete that collection. So I'm just missing a few from SM12A, I think, and then some of the older ones. I think um, Underground Expedition is the most recent of the older ones I haven't got. And then I did a trade with my good friend, Cyan for Gamers. Sign for Gamers has got his own YouTube channel. Please go and check it out. Um, but yes, we I sent him a few cards and he sent me this because I really, really I needed this one. He had a spare, so we agreed on a trade. I sent him a full art trainer and he sent me this. So very, very happy with that. It's Hapu. Yep. Um, from SM12 8 again. That'll help me with my collection. But then a nice little bonus as well. This is a bonus for you, signed for gamers November 10th, 2019. And this was the bonus, which is this fantastic God of War. Uh, now, this was a competition in Japan for, uh, I think it was for um, individuals to design a card, from my understanding. I think I'm right. And then this was uh, released as a promo. So very, very happy to get this beautiful artwork there. So thank you, my dear friend, Sign for Gaming. And um, you also sent me some very nice sleeves for those as well. So he knows I collect sleeves, so that, those <laughs> will go into my sleeves. So yeah, that is my mail today, guys. Um, so like I said, it's been a while, but as you can tell, still pretty much on the full art trend. Let me know what your favorite card from this mail video was as usual guys i am on ko-fi i am on patreon if you want to support the channel we've also got a wish list down in below the comment section and go and support my son nahal pokey nahal he opens english products i open all the japanese stuff um, he is very fun to watch a lot of people love watching him because of his humor um, so go and check him out so pokey nahal and I will see you guys on the next video. Hope you guys have a great week and I will probably be back with maybe another Korean opening, but we're only about two weeks away from Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Japanese sets and I got four boxes in order, two of each. So expect to see some very quick um, receipts of those boxes and we'll get those open for you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. See you all soon. Bye.